Let's backtrack a little bit before that session. President Moon met with senior U.S. lawmakers, including the Speaker of the House. Once again, he clarified his views on North Korea and that deployment. Hwang Ho-jun follows this report from the nation's capital. President Moon held back-to-back -back meetings on Thursday with the leaders of the U.S. House of Representatives and Senate. President Moon's first meeting was with the delegates of the House of Representatives, including House Speaker Paul Ryan and the floor leaders of the Republican and Democratic parties. The meeting garnered a lot of attention from South Korean and U.S. media outlets, leading to a bit of a scuffle between reporters from the two countries as they looked to capture the moment with limited room to get the best shots. Drama aside, House Speaker Ryan welcomed President Moon and said this whole Washington relationship remains strong and he looks forward to continuing dialogue to reinforce the alliance. The leaders of the House peppered President Moon with questions, especially regarding North Korea and the deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD to the Korean Peninsula. President Moon said the U.S. should discard any doubt on his administration trying to withdraw from the agreement to deploy THAAD, adding that the environmental impact assessment is purely for the sake of due process. President Moon also met with the leaders of the U.S. Senate, including Majority Leader Senator Mitch McConnell and heads of the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations and the Armed Service Committee, Senator Bob Corker and John McCain, respectively. President Moon told the senators that he hopes his visit will be an opportunity for the alliance to become greater and to ensure everlasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. Getting the nods from the lawmakers, President Moon will also likely discuss such issues during his first official bilateral summit with President Trump on Friday morning Eastern Time. That summit is where all eyes will be focused, with separate statements said to be read by each president on their evaluation of the meeting. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News, Washington.